Hi everyone, let's dive into the word. In yesterday's gospel, Jesus told Peter to follow him. And you know what? We actually hear the same in today's gospel as well. We hear Jesus telling Peter one more time, you follow me. What does it mean to follow Jesus? Jesus reveals to us something important in today's gospel with regards to following him. Prior to Jesus telling Peter to follow him, Peter actually asks Jesus about who is going to betray him. And Jesus' response to Peter is simply, what concern is this of yours? Very much like Peter, we are very easily concerned or consumed about the wrong things. We are troubled by being concerned about others and our focus is easily off. Like Peter, we want to know things because it gives us predictability. It gives us peace knowing that what is happening and what is to come. A big part of following Jesus is being able to trust him, especially in uncertainty, knowing that we only know a glimpse of who, who really Jesus is or who really God is to us. John says in today's gospel that there are so many other things that Jesus did, but it is actually not recorded in the gospels. Human books cannot exhaust the person and work of Jesus Christ. God's power is inexhaustible. His grace is limitless. His wisdom is unfathomable. His triumphs innumerable. And his love is unquenchable. So let us turn to God today, committing to following him, desiring to know him more deeply, and placing our full trust in him once again. In the words of St. Francis of Assisi, May the power of, our, of your love, Lord Christ, fiery and sweet as honey, so absorb our hearts as to withdraw them from all that is under heaven. Grant that we may be ready to die for love of your love, as you died for love of our love. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Have a blessed day.